Is he going to play X game? When's he going to play every single game ever made? When's he just going to play everything? Welcome to everything. I've never actually played this game, but I've heard it's a bit of a fever dream. The X button will let you join the Bisons. Join us, brothers. Okay, we're getting a little stampede going. Onward, men. You're off to a great adventure. I wish I could join you. Maybe one day I'll be able. <laughs> this is what adventure looks like. I had to imagine that everything could be here for each other. You only see things from a bison's perspective. So I can only see things from a rock's perspective. If you want to, you can always see things from a little thing's point of view. Try it. Behold. You're a rocky mountain elf. And behold. You can keep shrinking down. Oh god, wait, I didn't mean to descend like that. Okay, this this is a little bit smaller than I want it. How small down can I go? Like, am I gonna be able to get like that like to a subatomic level? Oh god! You are Archon! We are just an atom. We can just descend into ourselves. Oh god. Oh no. I can go further inside the sphere. Oh my god. Five minutes ago, I used to be a bison. I can, I can go further in. <laughs> I find it a little difficult to say what the subject matter oh? of this seminar is going to be. Because it's too fundamental to give it a title. Okay. <laughs> Ideas of the world, which are built into the very nature of the language we use, and of our ideas of logic, and of what makes sense altogether. Sure. You're a green planet. We can descend back into this. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing anything. Anyone see a bison? We're probably killing quite a few deer here as we roll. There's one. We made it home. I don't know if that helps us. You, as a human oh. being, He's you back. grow out of this physical universe in just exactly the same way that an apple grows off an apple tree. So let's say the tree which grows apples is a tree which apples, using apple as a verb. And a world in which human beings arrive is a world that peoples. But we have been brought up not to feel that we belong in the world. This is a lot for a game where I'm just trying to become so a bison our again. So speech reflects it. We say, I came into this world. You didn't. You came out of it. Life mostly involves going out and entangling yourself with others. I want to show you another way of getting mixed up. Very beautiful thing you can do, and that's dancing. Going with two or more things, then stop moving and press Y to dance. There we go. Our new goat is ready to be born. Okay, we have baby goats in the flock. They gotta roll. They gotta roll a little faster than the rest. Billions of years ago, you were a big bang. Now you're a complicated human being. Forest on the run. But so we define ourselves as being only that. If you think that you are only inside your skin, you define yourself as one very complicated little curly cue, way out on the edge of that explosion, way out in space and way out in time. And with them, we cut ourselves off and don't feel that we are still the Big Bang. But you are. You are the Big Bang. This is the best philosophy class I've ever taken. It doesn't hurt you, can only prolong your inevitable death. That's the spirit. See, the physical world is wiggling. The clouds, mountains, trees, people. It's the meaning of life. Are all wiggly. It's wiggly. I can, I can go further up. Taking our moon with us, too. What if I just collide with the sun? <laughs> like, in I go. It's like the planet. The planet is doomed. If there is any such thing at all as intelligence and love and beauty, well, you found it in other people. In other words, it exists in us as human beings. And as I said, if it is there in us, it is symptomatic. There is nothing of the scheme of things. Right up with us. We are as symptomatic of the scheme of things as the apples are symptomatic of the apple tree or the rose of the rose bush. The earth I'm too sober for this. Hang on. We're going to get back to the bison. I'm high right now and still can't tell if I enjoy this. 
You just you just gotta sit back and let it happen, okay? Trying to impart an ex ex experience about everything and not a particular thing. We're almost back. Moving up in the world. We can grab the acorns now too. Okay, it's not quite. The the mammoth will do. Let's get them, boys. Begin the ritual. <laughs> to a room. And so, in order to describe what I'm doing when I'm walking, I have to describe the room. I have to describe the territory. So, in in, in the describing my talking at the moment, I can't describe this just as a thing in itself because I'm talking to you. Really, what he's saying is starting to make sense. I'm scared. He's getting to you. Involves what you are. And any good scientist knows that what you call the external world is as much you as your own body. We are now becoming everything, as far as our pack is concerned. Is there a boat? I, I didn't see a boat. <laughs> oh god, I can just become anything now. Galaxy. Okay, so now, now it's all starting to merge. Animal? Perfect. I can't move like this. He's just kind of stuck. You could say because you have a skin, you have a definite shape, you have a definite form. The whirlpool is a definite form, but no water stays put in it. The whirlpool is something the stream is doing. And exactly the same way, the whole universe is doing each one of us. And I see you today, and I uh, recognize you tomorrow. Just as I would recognize a whirlpool in a stream. This is like how your lap only exists when you sit down. But you're moving. The whole world is moving through you. All the cosmic rays, all the food you're eating, the stream of steaks and milk and uh, eggs and uh, uh, everything is just flowing right through you. <laughs> when you're wiggling the same way, the world is wiggling, the stream is wiggling just, uh, you. I'm just having dinner, you see. You become like a whale in space. I, I think so. <laughs> Let's roll out, gag. Hey, what do you think would win? Like, the sun or a thousand lions? Cause I mean, that's a lot of lions. <laughs> no, okay, it's the sun. Maybe the people who thought her was held up by elephants and turtles weren't so far off. I mean, you could just redefine what an elephant and turtle is, you know? We live on the back of the giant turtle, maybe the giant turtle was just space. This is just at the center of our world. Whatever this is. You're not really part of all this. Uh, or to put it in the strongest possible way. It is quite alien to our thought that the external world, which is defined as something that happens to you, and your body is something that you For some reason, you in my head, with. I'm imagining Alan Watts. It is quite alien to consider. There's a scenario where he's you eating yourself. your sandwich, which was your lunch in the because fridge, see, we communal have fridge. Such a myopic view and you've confronted him. Of what and instead is. of him simply apologizing and like getting you a new sandwich, he's like, well, t strictly speaking, the sandwich was all of our sandwich. After all, why should I not partake from this meal? It's like, damn it, Alan, just just get me the sandwich. It was never really your sandwich to begin with, was it? Damn it, Alan, I, I was just wanting my Subway. We're all sandwiches. <laughs> Eat yourself. I feel like a lot of Alan Watts' teachings um, start to lose their meaning if instead of the word universe, you now start to just swap it with the word sandwich. Now, I mean, a sandwich is very much a part of the universe. I don't think it, it's it's the scenario he really envisioned. Hey, everything. I was wondering where you'd got to. I'd have been able to see a lot here, but not everything. First arrived here, there was a golden object in front of you. Remember it. I feel distant now, but it's still there. The gate made by things who weren't able to see how you see. Many things entered it, but weren't able to come back out, so we kept it locked. I'm gonna open it for you, but it's up to you if you want to enter it. Good luck. Take care. Oh, we can go go into the golden gate. Okay. Uh, question. How, how do I get back? Oh, there's the other cluster of the animals. Okay, okay let's just, let's, we're gonna just merge them real quick. Stay calm. You're a city continent. Oh, I have to check out what this one looks like. I'm, I'm tired of this structure. Oh shit, oh shit, downtown. And you can say, aha, at last I see, I got the point. I've seen how all this makes sense. It does, Alan. I understand what this now. Depended upon. The uh, interval created by... Oh my god, someone call the military. The Continent may have been on a planet that got turned into an animal. If I just go all the way up again, that's going to be the best way, isn't it? 
Yeah, th th this is the problem when we made, like, uh, our known universe this actual pile of animals. <laughs> there it is. We're at Golden Gate. Here we go. God, what is happening? I don't need to feel happy, that will only lead to more sadness. Parents tried to do all the right things. Never saw it that way. <laughs> Biggest house you've ever seen. Gigantic now have this entire waste lot of garbage. People are people are quite sad in this reality. <laughs> That's not what I thought it would be. We are an unknown planet. I can go, I can go further down. Found a way. It's all just broken. Got her a bit of everything. Go smaller. Finally, something I know. What the future did you do to the universe? We're, we're figuring it out. It's a process. Wait, I, I, the chair was the answer we needed. Oh, it's it's us watching ourselves. Hello? Wow, you're here. Oh, God. See, um, my thoughts and all the other thoughts in the world are your thoughts. Listen to me, you're listening to yourself. I hold on to these thoughts then. What impressions about any of them? See your way with your thoughts, you can see your way out of here. Good luck, everything. Open the mind, press the back button, hold B to empty. You, you just need to like forget everything. Empty your mind. Oh, what happens if we go further in? <laughs> we need to just find our way back on out. Just bacon? Slice of bacon. We escaped the prison. It's the bacon that was in the BLT, which Alan Watts ate. It was us, not only your sandwich, but his as well. It's everyone's sandwich. The sandwich is a part of our universe. We're all connected to the sandwich. Everything's a sandwich if you think about it. We're sandwiches between air. The air is a sandwich between space. The space is a sandwich. It's all connected. Atoms are sandwiches of particles. We're composed of sandwiches it's in our blood. And of course, a bison goes well in a sandwich. <laughs> Thanks, Alan Watts. I really learned a lot. Let's just do what we do best. That's not an animal. In the balls. Oh God! <laughs> There's been a slight malfunction. Archie, are you enjoying the existentialism? Yeah, it's, it's really making me think about what it means to be alive. I wonder if we can specify which animal it is. Oh, you can. Uh, okay, well, you know what it's got to be. The universe as we know it has become bison. Behold our new world. <laughs> Let you in on the secret. Everything. This is all you, all of it. Everything is contained within itself. The great force expressing versions of itself all the way down and all the way up. There's no this and there is no that. There is only sandwich. The beautiful reality we found ourselves in. <laughs>